Dynamic views can be a great way to visualize automation environments. Arigo BMS provides a toolkit for creative work and gives integrators access to a comprehensive library of graphical objects that can be used as they are or customized to suit any application. Here we have the view designer tool in which I have opened up an unfinished view of a ventilation process. And I want to add a fan right here. And I have programmed my controller with a block for the supplier fan of the type fan2 speed. And I can add a template that is connected to the signals of that block. And I look for the template called fan2 speed. I click through these wizard questions quickly for demo purposes. And I simply move the symbols into place. Now I simply have to save and go to Arigo BMS and update the web page. And here's the new fan symbol, which I can click on and get access to a lot of settings and information from the control block itself. All of these images and many more are found in the Regin folder inside Alib View Application Library Symbols. And if you have the Microsoft tool Power Toys installed, you can make a simple search for all SVG symbols and they are then visible in the file explorer. If you want to add any of these pictures, go to View Designer. And the easiest way is to duplicate another symbol element. And erase the attribute pictures. And click on this arrow and go down to pick a picture from the application library. And here you can also make a search. I want to add another kind of pump symbol. I like this blue one. Now I see that I want to rotate it 90 degrees to the right. And I also want another pipe behind it. And I can easily change the color of this pipe. Now I want the red pipe. The end result will render more nicely than this design mode. You can easily see that simply by opening the view in Arigo. Our support for SVGs opens up great opportunities. As an example of this, let's open View Designer again and add our example of animation with complex values. As an example, we have made a clock to show you that you now can input three different signals to the same symbol element. To see the actual SVG code, you can go and explore the folder where the SVG is. This is the one and I strongly recommend that you find and install Microsoft VS Code as an editor. This is a tool that makes it easy to work with SVGs. I just want to simply change the background of this, uh, this clock. And the setting for that is found in style clocks, which is the class name where we define the fill color. And I can write any hex code for any color, but you can also write in clear text. So let's have a green background on this clock. 
and now you need to save it as another name so you don't overwrite it when you add the template once again later. Let's see how it looks in View Designer now. As you remember, I simply added custom on the end here, the file name, and now the background is green. Yeah.